Hello there, and welcome to another cushion review. This week, I will be trying the Uphue Wonder Tension Packed Perfect Cover Cushion with an SPF 40 PA Triple Plus. Now, this foundation comes in two shades, numbers 21 and 23. Obviously, I opted for the lighter of the two, number 21. Now, this cushion is a bit different. Usually, a cushion would contain a sponge soaked in foundation, but a tension cushion actually has a slightly thicker, almost cream-like formula that sits beneath a very finely woven mesh, as I'm now showing the camera here. This, I believe, is to ensure the product is more evenly dispensed onto the puff, but I typically use a brush first anyway. Now there's just a quick look at my bare skin before I start putting the foundation on. Not too bad. After I have spread the product onto my face to my satisfaction, I then go over it with the puff included with the cushion, just to make sure everything is nice and even, and there are no streaks from the brush or anything left on my skin. Now this cushion is supposedly going to make the skin look smooth and flawless with a long-lasting coverage. It is a light and velvety formula that will conceal blemishes, wrinkles, and fine lines without drying your skin. Now, the cushion did seem to give my skin a really nice glow at first, but, uh, that mostly went away after it dried down. It didn't really stick around too long. Which, you know, I know it's not what uh, this foundation uh, is really supposed to do, but I'm a, personally a fan of a luminous finish foundation, so I wouldn't have mind if some glue had stuck around. So while I go in with, uh, with the cushion puff, I should probably mention that whenever I'm testing a new base product, I don't typically use any other face products with it. By that I mean no primers, no heavy concealers, no powders, setting sprays, etc. This is because I don't want the makeup I'm testing to potentially wear differently throughout the day because of another product that I've used. I also don't try to layer it up too much. I pretty much apply anything I'm testing just as I would any of my regular tried-and-true foundations that I already own. And there she is! One nice moderate layer of foundation on my face. Now you can see here that it has a... it's, it's dried down fairly quickly. Uh, it's not a matte foundation, it's not a dewy one, it's a nice natural finish. Now this foundation was slightly too dark for my skin, um, and it did also oxidize a little bit. This is me trying to show the camera here. Uh, the camera never really picks that up super well though. But, uh, eh, what can you do? Anyway. Later, dudes. Okay, so I was in the process of editing um, a different video, and I took a quick look outside. You can kind of see it in the corner there. But look. It's freaking snowing. They did say on the um, on the news over the last couple days that it was going to be snowing today. I didn't believe them. Color me surprised. Hi. It's about 1.30 right now. I put the foundation cushion on my face at 9am. I always forget to say what time I put it on at. Uh, but it's 1.30 now, so it's been 
just over four hours. Um, thought I'd check in quick, see how it's doing. Right here. It's, um, settled into my smile lines. Accentuating them. Creased a little bit under the eye, too. Not too terrible under the eyes, but... And it seems that, uh... It isn't doing my nose any favors, either. Anyway. Yeah. Just thought I'd, uh... Throw a quick update in here. Not gonna turn out very good. What? Taking a picture. No, it shows up. <clears throat> the same day we get loads of snow, it all melts and rains and we get a rainbow. Pretty. Okay, so it's the end of the night. Um, this has been on my face now for pretty much 12 hours. It's um, almost 9 o'clock now. I'll just let you see what's going on here. First thing I noticed when I checked in the mirror is how accentuated all of my pores are. All the texture on my skin. You can see like the layer, I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but you can like see the layer of pigment sitting on top of my skin. This down here is redness. My cheeks are a little bit red right now. Um, but yeah, it's, let's see if I can focus on that right here when I smile obviously, as people do, because people have skin and skin moves. Um, I have wrinkles that develop underneath each of my eyes when I laugh or smile or emote in general. Um, and this really accentuates those right here too and on this side hmm. so yeah all of this texture on my face that um, isn't normally brought to the forefront as a uh, light bulb bright as uh, it is right now, and that's what uh, this foundation seems to be doing. My skin um, feels dry, feels tight. My skin has just, because I have dry skin, it's, um, there we go. It's, uh, it's soaked up any moisture that would have been in the foundation or the cushion throughout the course of the afternoon and evening. So all that's left is just, it's just unflattering and cakey. You see when I do that? My skin's stretching because it's so obvious because it's so tight. Right there. Ah. So this is definitely, oh, it looks so wrinkly. Uh, so this definitely isn't, um, it isn't really for me, um, it's the wrong color, it's the wrong finish, it's the wrong kind of formula for my skin type and for what I usually look for in a, uh, base makeup product. Um, this is more suited for Obviously, someone with normal to slightly oily uh, skin. Um, 
This sort of thing tends to happen to me whenever something claims to be long wearing or um, full cover. They tend to... They are very pigmented, but the side effect is cake. Um, so that's not something I'm usually a fan of. At least it stayed on my face. Um, we can say that for sure. Um, but anyway, yeah, if you have dry or dehydrated skin, and I, 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 I applied uh, skincare liberally, I was moisturized prior to the application of this product, so it's, uh, it's definitely not me going, I didn't, definitely didn't go into this with, you know, an already dry skin situation. Um, so if you are like me and you have um, pretty pretty dry, dehydrated skin, this might not be the best for you. Um, I can see it working really well for someone with normal to oilier skin though, so. Well, there you have it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next one.